what's up guys welcome to another video here today we got out in the woods and we wanted to show you our go-to sleep and shelter system so we could have done this as two separate videos but we basically use the exact same thing um, with some subtle differences so they're yeah small differences um, yeah anyways but, welcome to SB outdoors we'll go through the two different hammock setups all right let's we'll, uh, we'll do mine first over here on the left and then we'll show you Andy's all right, let's take you a tour through Kevin's setup over here. So first, it's a little windy today and the ground is pretty wet, so I was gonna get some porch mode in, but we'll just keep it down in what we call storm mode. So this is a Hammock Gear 12-foot Cuban fiber hex tarp. Um, and, and Hammock Gear, it's actually pretty cool. Hammock Gear is a local company for us, so we went and actually picked these up in person. Um, this is technically a green color, but you can see it's a little green if you like get in on it, but it's really basically kind of see a see-through material. So for my ridgeline tie-outs on the tarp itself, I use what's called glow wire, uh, and these are from Dutchware gear. These are line locks, so you can um, tension the tarp down like that. It's actually really easy. And then my stakes, I just use a basic MSR groundhog style stake. So let's go uh, underneath the tarp here. Well, first, actually, I do have the tarp in uh, a pair of Wilderness Logics mesh snakeskins. And then if you can see up in here, I do not use, uh, this is one difference between Andy uh, and mine setup, I do not use a continuous ridge line. So this is a Dutchware gear stinger, and I have these on both ends that are spliced to 12 feet of zingit right here. Um, we got those from Dutchware gear, and they work really well, and it's kind of just like a, a hitch over there, and it, it stays really well. All right, so the actual hammock so I use a war bonnet blackbird XLC uh, it's an 11 foot hammock it's really sweet we like them a lot my suspension just like Andy's you can see this we use whoopee slings and um, I'll put a link to a video a Shug's video describing whoopee slings if you don't know what that is don't worry about it it's a suspension way to attach your hammock to your tree strap um, my under quilt is a 20 degree underground quilts zeppelin under quilt um, and it's not tucked in properly right now there we go um, that's one difference between andy and my setup is and he'll go through his under quilt he does not use this um, one thing my under quilt has that his doesn't are these things called draft collars which i really like um, and then my top quilt is an enlightened equipment 30 degree Revelation and I use a uh, it's in here somewhere an air core or cocoon air core pillow but I'm thinking about switching to one of those down ones because I you just don't need a huge pillow when you're in a hammock um, so I'll flash the weights of everything up on the screen but that's my setup so a 20 degree under quilt a 30 degree top quilt and I've taken it down to the mid 20s and was perfectly warm I've taken it up into the low 60s and the top quilt was too warm, um, but the under quilt was totally fine. And I've read about people taking these 20 degree under quilts up into the 70s at night. Um, and as long as you vent them properly, so there's a bunch of options right here to vent this, you should stay warm. So that's my setup and we'll pop next door and show you Andy's setup. All right, let's take a look at my setup here. And um, I've kind of, uh, my trees aren't far apart, so for the purpose of just setting up the hammock and showing off the stuff, I'm gonna leave the tarp in my snake skins right now. These are, um, I also have a hammock here, hex tarp, in a Wilderness Logix snake skins, these mesh snake, snake skins, excuse me. One of the differences between my uh, tarp setup and Kevin's is I opted to go with the continuous ridge line approach for my tarp. Um, there's some positives and negatives. It definitely takes a little bit longer for me to, to set up my tarp. Um, and then I have it on a piece of, uh, or I'm sorry, on a Dutchware. I might be wrong about this. I think it's a fly. I could, I can't remember. We'll put the link in there. Yeah. Um, and then I have the hammock actually using a, or I'm sorry, the tarp on a Prusik knot so that I can adjust it along the ridge line. So the nice thing about the continuous ridge line is that once I have it up, I can adjust the tarp to fit, you know, squarely over my hammock. Downfall is it's a little bit more intensive, labor intensive to put it up, takes a little bit longer, but once you get it up there, 
I can adjust where the hammock is using my Prusik here. And it's just a little carabiner um, onto a homemade Prusik that I made out of Zingit. The ridge line is also made out of Zingit. Um, and then if you actually look at the other side of the ridge line for my tarp, it just uses a hitch around the tree using one of these, one of the titanium Dutch clips. Oh man, there's so many different small pieces of Dutch hardware, so I believe it's called a Dutch clip. If not, we'll link it all. That is not a Dutch clip. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Dutch I don't know. Hook, I think Dutch it's a Dutch hook. We'll, we'll, we'll throw it up in Whatever there. Whatever it's called. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, yeah. it works great. And there's so many different Dutch bling out there. I can't ever remember all the different types. Um, but again, this is just, this ridge line is just on a piece of Zingit with some carabiners on a Prusik on my hammock gear hex tarp. Um, the Cuban fiber hex tarp in the wilderness logic snake skins, the mesh snake skins. And as you can see, it, when you have your tarp and your snake skins, it's just really easy to manage your tarp. You can roll it up in the snake skins, put it out, it makes it really easy and convenient to um, set it up and put it away. So um, for my hammock, I also use the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC. Um, for my underquilt, I'm actually using an Enlightened Equipment Rebels. Uh, Kevin mentioned one of the differences between his underquilt and mine is I don't have the draft collars. Um, I've never felt that I, I, I don't know what it's like to have draft collars, so I couldn't comment. Limited in ignorance. Yes, I couldn't comment on it, but um, the Revel, just like most under, other underquilts I've seen, is fully adjustable. Um, you can adjust the where the underquilt sits on the hammock, which is really nice. You can cinch it up, loosen it. Andy went with what's called the hot potato uh, scheme with the blaze orange on the inside. No, this is my this is for my emergency plan. Yeah, but it's, it's called a hot potato when you get when you get black on the outside and, and a little like orange, like a sweet potato on the inside. It yeah. looks really cool though. Um, for, for the steaks that I use in my hammock setup, I've got some MSR groundhog steaks, and then I've got just titanium shepherd's hook, which I hate and will be replacing. <laughs> um, and then inside my hammock, I've been saying this wrong on the last few videos because I just have so much gear and I keep mixing it up. I use an enlightened equipment revelation top quilt. So he has the same top quilt as me, but his is a 20 degree. Yep, this is 20 degree, and my revel is also 20 degree. I've been, what, in the 30s with this setup? Yeah, so low, far, 30s. low 30s. It's been really comfortable. This will be hot in the summer, so we'll have to figure that out. The Costco quilts. Yeah, we'd have the Costco quilts. We'll see. Um, so yeah, that's my setup so far. I also use a Cocoon Air Core pillow, which I want to replace as well for a just a down pillow because we're learning as we get more into hammocks that we just need the most minimalistic pillow possible. So, um, one thing I we love about the Blackbird XLCs and is the is the shelf. And I've got a here's a good overlay of the shelf. So I believe it's actually three square feet is what they say. Three yeah. or four square feet. So just you know, there's there's ridge line hangers. There's the um, uh, the peak loft bags that you know some companies make. We some. Dutch warehouse those as well. Um, so the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC has the built-in shelf, which is awesome for storage. Makes life a lot easier once you get in your hammock. It just helps with organization. So uh, yeah, we love these hammocks. So there you go, guys. Uh, that is our go-to hammock setups. They're basically like 80% the same, but he's got a different quilt setup and a different way to hang his ridge line. So. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about our setup, just leave them down in the comments and we'll catch you in another video. Yep.